Hey guys, welcome back to another nail vlog, but today's different because we're going to get my toes done. Um, I already have my nails done right now, and I'm just giving them a break, so they just have like a coat of regular nail polish on. I am late for my appointment. It was at 11.45, and it's 11.53 right now, um, so I need to go to the salon, but we are going to Olive in June. It's like a pretty famous Instagram salon that turned into a nail like polish company. So um, I just wanted to go and see if it's really worth the hype, how much it is and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you guys my pre toenails and just a disclaimer, if any of you are here like just like strange men with like weird feet fetishes please get off this video because that really freaks me out and I was like contemplating whether or not I should even do this video because I know for a fact I'm gonna get like strange comments but anyways let me show you guys my toenails and then we'll go to the salon Yeah, that's okay. How crazy do I look right now? Um, I just got inside of this like little back room of their Pasadena location. So they have a couple of different locations, but something that I immediately noticed about this salon, and by the way, I'm not like, this video is not sponsored. I didn't reach out to them or anything. This is me just like really curious about this pedicure experience. Um, but something that I immediately noticed about this salon versus some other ones is like, um, I'm doing like the pedicure and there's like no tub or anything so that's kind of interesting to me um, I picked out two of their branded polishes so we're gonna see which one I like better I wanted to do like a white color but I think I'll just do like a pink to go with my like aesthetic I don't know I kind of like love nude too so I don't know we'll see what color I end up going with but um, yeah, this place is super cute. Like a really, really cute place to go for like a bridal shower, like a date with your girlfriends, or like just like a day to treat yourself. So I'm really excited to see like the whole experience. And they just offered me some um, teas and stuff and water. So that's all. There we go. So these, this is the current state of my toenails. I know this is like so gross for people to see. You're gonna be like, what the heck am I watching? Um, but here's the current state of them. They are just all natural. They need to get cleaned up. They've grown out a little bit and um, got a very on-brand cup of tea right here as well. Very nice. So here is the view from where I'm sitting now. It's the entrance there. This is the view of the room that I am currently in. It's just like super aesthetic. Like, look at this like little magazine section. We've got like another seat. So cute. So they just brought in a like little tub situation here with like, you know, warm water. I'm just soaking my feet, probably for my cuticles. Nice. All right, why don't we get started with the actual process of the pedicure. So I soaked my feet for roughly five to seven minutes. And now she's shaping and filing my nails. Um, I think when you soak your nails or your feet in warm water, it allows the um, filing process and the cuticle removal process just a little bit better. Um, and she asked for my permission on everything, which is amazing. She asked if I wanted to push my cuticles back, if that was okay with me. Um, so I really appreciated that um, we're doing the foot scrubbing portion she's using like almost like a foot file what it is what it looks like um, and she just scrubbed like the back of my feet the bottoms of my feet um, and then just soaking felt really really amazing we're repeating the same process on the left foot and now we are going to in with cuticle softener um, and she's going all over my feet with this kind of product um, again just softening out the skin and the callus on the bottoms of my feet to then be able to shave it off and remove it this doesn't tickle or hurt honestly like from what I remember this part of pedicures like would make me laugh like I had to pee in my pants because it was so um, ticklish but actually it really didn't so I'm not sure if I grew up or something but it just didn't tickle as much um, and then again we did that on the other side but she's just putting um, some more cuticle softener to go in and push back my cuticles on my toes so 
Personally, I love this part because I just feel like all of the grime, the dirt, the cuticles are just getting removed and it's just my favorite part. So we also cleaned up under the nail plate, like just at the tip of it and all the dirt. She's wiping away with the towel, all of the um, excess cuticles. And now we're trimming away the cuticle. Um, she's using these nippers and if you've gotten any manicure or pedicure, regardless if it's gel or regular, they will typically just kind of cut away at the cuticle and this process should not hurt um this nail tech her name is jesse she did an amazing job and was so gentle and asked me how everything was am i doing it too hard am i doing it too soft like different things like that so i appreciated that again um she's buffing away the nail plate and then applying um some sort of cuticle oil and brushing away the surface here i am drinking my aesthetically pleasing cup of tea i just really was feeling the atmosphere and the vibe and just enjoying myself and now um she asked me to pull my both of my feet out and this was the massage portion you guys i'm surprised i didn't fall asleep and start snoring in this salon this was incredible and i really enjoyed that okay i had to do a quick check-in so far because i am just having like the best time of my life that massage portion felt so relaxing and even though like i'm kind of working technically and like you know doing like youtube stuff i'm like so relaxed right now it feels really good and um it's really nice because it's like not oh yeah perfect we're steaming my feet now it's temperature okay yes temperature is amazing yeah so anyways i'm just saying it feels really good it's so relaxing and i'm just having the time of my life even though i'm like still working <laughs> So once we have massaged my feet, she wipes away the residue, sprays my toenails with alcohol, and buffs away with almost this eyeliner looking smudger brush. Um, and then she just divides my toes, getting ready to paint them. Now we're just testing out the two different colors. Um, this one I think is called Mandy from what I remember. Um, I really like this one. And then this one is called Jerry, right? Yeah. Ooh, I really like Jerry. That's really pretty. I thought I was going to end up doing Mandy, but no. Yeah, let's go with Jerry. Yeah, the, the bright pink one. Again, just continuous preparation with the brushing of the alcohol. Now we're going in with a dehydrating solution to um, apply on the nail plate. I asked her why we do this and she says it's to help the regular polish last longer. I only do regular polish um, manicures or pedicures, excuse me, because I don't have a lot of interaction with my toes, like with other things. So they actually last really long. Um, but we ended up applying three coats of this Mandy polish. She cleaned up the edges with that same alcohol kind of um, brush that we used in the beginning. And again, this color on its own is really, really pigmented. So um, I think you could be okay with two if you don't really like this strong, strong, bright color. But for me, um, there was just a couple spots that needed a little bit more filling. So she asked me again, are you okay with three coats? I recommend three coats. And I was like, yeah, honestly, that looks really good. Um, so yeah, that's the process. Here are what my toes look like before the top coat, and this is with three coats. Um, this is the matching top coat from Olive and June, and I have to say they are looking really clean, exactly what I imagined in my head, and we didn't even really like discuss anything, but she just got it. I have to say it's kind of sad for me to um, know that this is going to come to an end. It feels really nice to, to um, get my toes done and just treat myself. And I feel like for any of you who also live in LA, they don't just have this location. There's also two, two other locations, right? Yeah, two other locations. I know one in Santa Monica and then Beverly Hills. Okay, so um, it's nice because if you're also like you live in downtown LA, this would be the closest location to you. And I have to say it is um, by far one of the nicest looking salons I've ever been to. And I've been to salons, like a lot of salons. So um, by far one of the nicest looking salons and very on brand, very aesthetic. Um, but also it's just great service and um, very meticulous work, which is something that, of course, everyone should look for when they're looking for a new nail salon to go to. Um, so, yeah, so far I'm having a really great time.
I'm sorry, I didn't even ask what your name was. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse, wow. Wow, I'm just like so caught up in like trying to film this YouTube video. Um, this is Jessie. I'm not gonna like show her face because I told her I wasn't, but she's just been really, really nice and so like professional. And I feel like that's what this place really gives off a really professional vibe, and yet it's so playful and fun. And you can have such a good time with, you know, your friends, your girlfriends, or your mom and your sisters, or even just for yourself. So. Um, so far I'm having such a good time. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys their line of products So it looks like they have some stickers and some polishes that they recently released and um, Just a couple of nail tools and this is what the view looks like when you step into the salon I just left Olive in June and hmm it is by far the cutest salon I've ever been to nail salon and I feel like a place like this is a really, really amazing experience, like customer service based salon. Now, if you're someone who wants to get like SNS or um, hard gel, like you want to go somewhere where they are like an expert in a very specific um, nail service that you want. I don't know. I've never tried any of their other services, so I don't know, but I would imagine all polish work. So regular polish, gel polish work. Um, I feel like they are very, very detailed. And if you are looking for a new salon in LA to go to, I would recommend this place just because I know I got just a pedicure and it's so hard to say like, oh, it's so good just based off of this one service. I think the whole experience made my review of this place way better and my perspective on this salon way better. I genuinely enjoyed my time. Jesse was really, really thoughtful and sweet. Um, I know I probably was, she wasn't expecting me to like come in with my camera and whatever, but um, she was so sweet and so great about it. So I have to say that I give it like a 10 out of 10. Um, I would recommend it to any of my friends or any of subscri uh, any subscribers who are looking for a really fun, um, just easy, like, really professional really cute um, great experience um, to go with your mom your sisters everything like I said before like yes I love this place and now I'm just gonna go eat something because I always get hungry after I get my nails done like I don't know if you guys are the same I always get hungry so I'm gonna go get something to eat probably at home here's what my nails look like toenails look like outside look how beautiful the color is I think um, the lighting in the um, salon was just a little bit too orange so you couldn't really see the exact color but this is the color you guys I'm obsessed oh my goodness look how cute this color is oh my gosh I'm just home editing this vlog and I realized I didn't make an outro so I'm gonna sign off on the vlog now I'm also gonna insert a couple pictures of the back of my feet I know that not a lot of people probably do this but it's always so important to see like what the back of your feet look like after a pedicure as well so I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures here but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did please give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already please subscribe down below I am planning on doing a lot more nail vlogs and reviewing a lot of salons in LA um, I one of the other places I want to go is modern pap modern pamper salon um, the Kylie Jenner nail salon I really want to go there, but like one of their gel manicures is like $200. So Maybe we'll see um, But let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions suggestions comments for me and um, Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye